you got helical symmetry, right? Line symmetry, point symmetry. One last one, and even though it sounds simple, it's actually the most interesting of all of them. Scale symmetry. Now, what do you think this means? It's scale symmetry? Size. It's about size, isn't it? Scale is a scale is a size word. Now it's two D, but we're going to do together, and this is what most of your um, most of your pens and pencils and rules will be for. We're going to make some things which with really interesting scale symmetry. Oh, okay. Let's give a simple, boring example first. Okay, scale symmetry. Um, you just want to take a shape. Take a shape, right? Let's say a square. Okay. And then you want to think about, well, what would happen if I scaled it? If I resized it? If I scale it down like this, right? Make it say 10% or 15% smaller. There you go. These two shapes or this shape has scale symmetry, right? I can resize it. There it is. I can keep going. Right? I can go lots of times. Inception. Yeah, that's right. It's, it's squareception. Hooray. Okay. Now, like I said, this is a boring, simple example, just so you can wrap your head around scale symmetry. But where it gets really, really fun is where you start to combine some of these symmetries. Okay, it's where you start to combine them. So I'm gonna give you two really cool, really interesting examples. First, we'll just go off the square. Okay, I'm gonna start this off, but I want you to do this properly. I'm gonna do kind of like the shortcut version. Okay, this is scale symmetry. I'm going to add on to it point symmetry. Right, so not only am I going to shrink things down, but I'm also going to add a, an angle, a rotation. Okay, now here's a really easy way to do it. Okay, um, draw yourself up a square. Okay, we'll start it off and then you can finish it in your own time. Uh, make it as big as you can, okay, on, your, on the page that you have, uh, because it's going to go, go in and become quite small. Okay. Now, to make this nice and easy, what we're going to do is, I'm going to put the midpoint of each side, like that, and then, now watch carefully this part, put your pens down and look up so you don't miss this. I'm going to, see I bisected this, lot, this side and I gave me a good point. I'm going to bisect a few more sides, this one, this one here, this one here, this one here, and this one here, okay? So now I, I bisected and I bisected again, right? Now with these points on each of the corners, I'm going to join them up, like this. Mm -hmm. oh, mine's not very good, as you can see. Okay, but there you go. Can you see? I've scaled it. This new shape. You're going to draw yours better than mine, obviously. This new shape is also a square, right? But it's three quarters. Like, well, I've sort of got a seventy-five percent scaling thing happening here. Okay. So then you can do it again. You can bisect, 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 bisect. You get the idea. Right, and then I'm going to join up all of these, like so. Okay, so you can see what's happening. It's going to spiral in. I'm going to try and hurry up a little bit here. It will look something like this. And then it will look something like this. Okay, so you can see it's when you combine symmetries that stuff starts to get really interesting. Why would that be? Why would this look like a flower? Because you're kind of right, aren't you? Like if you sort of stare into there, it looks kind of like a rose, doesn't it? Oh <laughs> deep cleave out simple things again. <laughs> All right, now I want to pose a question to you as you're keep still constructing that. Uh, we put together, right, this, is, this is scale symmetry, uh, and that what we added to it was point symmetry. Right? Now I wonder, like, what we've got now by putting these two symmetries together is kind of like a new symmetry. Like it isn't its own thing, because you know, we can boil it down to these. But if you had to name this symmetry, what might you call this? Hmm. Now, I, yeah, maybe you'd call it like flower, rose symmetry, something like that. I'm very tempted to kind of call it like it's a 2D version of that helical symmetry I showed you before, right? Like it's this guy. He gets a bit tangled on himself. Okay. 
it's this guy, right? If you stretch him out on a third dimension, okay, like this, that's what gives you this spiral business. But if you put him back together and then look, look straight on, that's what you kind of got. Like you can see it spiraling out, right? And in fact, the golden spiral demonstrates exactly the same kind of symmetry, right? It's neither point symmetry nor scale symmetry on its own. It's kind of, kind of some weird mix of both. Okay.